That's right! The monkey time is upon us, folks! The monkeyest time of the year! There'll be monkeys for roasting! Marsh monkeys for toasting! Okay. Alright. Whoa! Whoa-wee! Let's see, let's move that back. Whoa! What is up, people? As my friend Florian would say, people of the tubes! <laughs> In reference to, I guess, his YouTube audience. <laughs> What's up, people of the tubes? This is not a tube. This is not a tube at all! This is a Red Bull! With Tyler Ninja Blevins on the can! Wow, what a transcendent gamer, folks! Next level gaming! <laughs> He's on a can! You've never seen Erich and Kids Next Door number two in the same room? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> really gets that noggin joggin. Uh, how can I read this chat without my glasses? I can't see without my glasses. Here we go, folks. I need to dress up as a scientist because we need to scientifically, oh my god, scientifically decide who will be the next E-Rich. Clearly this is not my, there we go, this is my better eye. How does it feel that your career was raped? Well, I'm going to have to hashtag me too, all of YouTube folks. Hashtag me too. Ha ha hashtag me YouTube. All right, let's see if I can navigate to my emails. With this shit on my face that I, I <laughs> yeah, let's uh, there we go. <laughs> now I can see. Welcome to Clown World, folks. <laughs> Clown World, Hong Kong. You're right. Wait, how did he put that in the chat before I said it? How did he know what I was gonna say? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Clown World. Yes! I love the clowns! We need Clown Pepe as one of the emojis in this chat. I look, oh, I forgot I had my <laughs> headphones already in. <laughs> this is absurdity. If you just clicked in and didn't know what was going on, this would be just plain absurd. <laughs> Let's, uh, what we're here to do today is people have been sending in voicemails. Applying to be the new Erich on Is It Kino, our movie review podcast. So, we're going to listen to some of them and decide together who should join the show. Uh, ooh, Depression Chamber, okay. Everybody sends everything to the same email. So, <laughs> it uh, takes me a little bit to figure out where to go. Uh, Is It Kino, okay. Okay, this guy did not submit anything. Uh, okay. Here we go. This this is from uh, Nick. Let's see what Nick has to say. All right, there's a problem playing his audio. All right, it's trying to make me download shit. Good going, Nick, you fucking moron. Here we go. What? Okay, Nick, you're disqualified until you send in one that I can just fucking click on. <laughs> Next. What up, Mumkey? My name's John, and uh, I guess this is my application to be the next E Bitch McSoy. My favorite film is Freddy Got Fingered, all hail based Tom Green. Uh, if you want the insult perspective on, on film, uh, I'm your guy. You've come to the right place. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. All right, could you guys hear that okay? Well, what'd you guys think of John here? He likes Freddy Got Fingered, and that's about all I remember. Low IQ scientists cannot figure out how to play Nick's audio. No, it was Nick's fault. Trust me. Yeah, that guy is kind of boring. Let's move on to uh, each he say. A chat regular, folks. Yo, Mumkey, you probably already know me as Itchy Say. And uh, this here is my application for uh, Erich Replacement. Uh, basically, I'm not a cuck myself, but... I come from the land of cucks, which is, you know, Canada, or Cuckada. It, it's pretty well known for its uh, cuckdom. You have, like, our prime minister and everything. So I'm pretty familiar with how 
cocky things go. You know, uh, my dad is a stereotypical male feminist, so I kind of know the ins and outs of that. My, my dad loves watching stuff like H Bomber Guy and Contra Points, so, <laughs> Ooh. so I know everything about that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, uh, what else? Of course, there was that one time you saw me making out with an Ouya. That's pretty cucky, right? I mean, that's pretty avant-garde and, and cucky. Uh, one time when I was like four years old, I think, somewhere around. He says, I don't know, uh, too much. Than Good that. point. I was almost in one weird avant-garde art house film thing. But, you know, I, I, I had a fit or something, so I couldn't be in it. But but that's pretty cucky. Am I right? Weird art house f- short films, the... Those are those are pretty cucky, if, if I do say so myself. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, if if you're interested in what you're hearing, just uh, I'm looking forward to you making fun of me more. That that's that's the good shit. Whew. The volume was too low. Well, fuck. But you guys could hear him, right? We've got a lot of nays already in the chat. People saying he says uh too much. Too low volume, but that's probably my fault. I guess i got to change the audio level from voicemail to voicemail. That'll be fun. Uh, volume is fine. Well, what are you going to do? Bet you feel small. I'm looking fat as fuck in my new HD monitor. No secrets are held back. I could stare at my hideous reflection all day. <laughs> Who knows what I'm thinking, folks? No, we got a lot of nays. Sorry, each he say. This chat nayed your short film, and now they're naying your application. A little too focused on the cuck shit, I think. <laughs> a little too uh, too true to the Erich standard. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Oh, you guys don't like these glasses? Okay, I'll get better glasses. When Emperor Lemon came over, he brought these madness uh, <laughs> glasses and he, he left them. So let's see if we can. Uh... <laughs> it's my nose guard. Oh, God, I can't fucking see anything. I can't fucking see. Okay. Yeah, no, I have a condom on my face. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, okay. Is it Kino Applocatio from your boy Smuck? Hello. My name is your boy Smuck. I'm a longtime fan of the Is It Kino podcast and I've listened to every episode. My heart was broken the other day. When I found out that my favorite podcaster, E. Rich McSoy, was leaving. But my heart was filled with glee as I found out that I might have the chance to replace him on this prestigious podcast. So here I am, making my application to become the next E. Rich McSoy. I was told that I'm supposed to give my political opinion, so here goes nothing. I'm an anti-nationalist who stands against the Second Amendment, and I'm very strongly socialist. That being said, I believe that the First Amendment, freedom of speech, is the most important thing any human can have. As for my future plans, well, I'm applying to become a teacher, a history teacher, with a second degree in English and in social science. My favorite movie, if we're going to talk about movies in a movie podcast, not sure why you want to bring that up, is Land of the Lost with Will Ferrell, a true classic that everybody should give the time of day. Since I'll be filling out for both Emich... Excuse me. Since I'll be filling out for both Mr. Ebich and a Monkey Jonas... This message is also an application to become the next member of the State of the YouTube podcast, the Booma and the Suma, and finally, the Monkey Joe's interview show. That will be all. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, what the... 
the fuck are you? Sorry, my cat is acting up all weird. Can you shut the? F okay, what'd you guys think of your boy Smuck? Tomas has informed me in the chat that he already has a prestigious podcast called the Two Friends and Zakara Podcast. So maybe his schedule will be so full he can't even join us. <laughs> Uh, I think the last thing we need is another person going into teaching. That's why we're losing our current host. Mm, let's see. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. That's two nays, folks. This is double the nay. This is like the, the childlike empress, the shit that she had on her fucking head. Bananas for my fellow monkey. Glad you're having fun streaming, my dude. Who the fuck said I was having fun? Do I look like I'm having fucking fun right now? Does anything about this look like I'm having fucking fun? Thank you for the $5. It's going straight to the banana fund, folks. Banana fund! 2018! <laughs> Alright, let's let's go to the next one. I don't think we're I don't think we're big fans of Smuck today. I don't need a guy yelling at his cat the whole show. Let's see. I need to find one that wasn't submitted by the the usual uh, uh, rebellious uh, uh, scallywags. I recognize too many of these names. I know I can't click on them. <laughs> it's going to be a big waste of time. Okay, here's one from Adam. Audition for America's Next Top Be Rich. You may be wondering what makes me special. I'm just another teenage white male straight virgin high schooler and i, like I know probably guy. a lot of them watch your videos by a lot i mean like 90 percent of your audience so they're probably wondering what makes me special and uh probably nothing if we're being honest but if you give me a chance maybe we can find something special but i need that chance seeing lots of nays and in the uh, chat. you want to know my political opinions I was going to take that I side with a uh, survey, but uh, it was really long, and I didn't feel like doing it since uh, I'm probably not even going to make it to do the, anything with this, so I didn't take it, and I'm like At least sort of a initiative. Democrat, but I think they're dumb idiots right now, and they're stupid, but I, just make, I like making Donald Trump jokes, probably going to vote for Donald Trump because it's funny, even though... My state always was Democrat, so my vote's a waste. I mean, you know what? That doesn't matter. White uh, male, race he's got in my America. Vote. People are overreacting. Like, are there issues? Yes, but there are issues everywhere. Yes, shut the fuck up. Okay? Do I have a lot of experience with this? No. Like I said, I'm white. Over 95% of my town that I live in is white, so uh, do I have a... Good viewpoint on this? No, but uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Overreacting, okay? I see black people, not <laughs> all of them get beat up, okay? Book. Most of them are welcome to society with open arms. We play basketball with them. We drink Kool Aid with them. We're all friends with them. And uh, my favorite movies, uh, I don't know. I, I didn't think of this one. You know what? Maybe if I'm on. Is it Kino? I will find my new favorite movie. Think about that. That was my audition for America's Next Top E Rich. Uh, you'll probably never hear from me again since I won't make it, but bye. Stop. How do I stop this? All right, that was uh, Mr. Duckerson, folks. And I gotta say, I gotta be honest. You're not gonna believe this, but I was not impressed. Not impressed in his showing. I appreciate that he's a straight white, Trump voting virgin male. A very rare breed. We could really use that diversity on the show. But I was not blown away by his presentation. I don't know. What do you guys think? You looked super impressed. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a master actor. <laughs> really, really, really bad. Why can't Burger replace Erich? Well, Monkey Fan 207, <laughs> are you sitting down? I've got a, quite the tale to tell. This is hurting my ears. Okay. Okay, we've got one from Connor. And Connor says, Hey, Monkey, 
I want to throw my hat in the ring. I'm a progressive who lives in the most liberal province in Canada. I'm also a sex researcher who had a long talk with the Stereos on his podcast, episode 10. Oh, I did listen to that. So you'll be able to hear me there. I'm also starting my own podcast so you can hear my audio there. Lastly, I love movies and am doing my thesis on a project about movies. Currently watching all movies that feature AI. Dude has a speech impediment and should be bunnies. I agree, he should be bunnies. Looking forward to hearing from you. Okay, so this Connor guy, he's a social psychology student. And he uh, he didn't submit a voice application. He just sent me a link to his sex podcast. So I guess we'll take a listen to that. It's called podcast.sex. Okay, here's episode one. Dating apps. Hey, everybody. Welcome to podcast.sex, the least popular show on the internet, which means if you're listening, then you mean more to us than you know. My name is Connor. I am a sex researcher at the University of Victoria. My interests are in everything digital and sex. And I am joined by Thomas. Thomas, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, everybody. My name is Thomas Brooks. Oh, my uh, God. I'm a colleague of Connor. Interesting that a, a virgin would be so interested in sex. Got him. No, uh, <laughs> fix, fix that audio a little bit. Maybe I'll listen to your sex podcast if it sounds better. And that's coming from the guy whose podcast is recorded on a Discord call. <laughs> Got my hopes up that he sounds like the biggest virgin I've ever heard. Uh, is that Keemstar? Uh, I guess it could have been. Who knows? Is, he's not too busy these days, is he? All right, I'm ready for my live interview. Let's do it. Okay. So <laughs> I see a lot of yays for some reason. Give me the email. It's just monkeyjones at gmail.com. But I probably won't get to yours today. We're still listening to ones from April 3rd. <laughs> All right. Oh. This guy named Mewtwo2000 sent in a YouTube video highlight reel as his application. Uh, okay. Weird that he sent in a video from 2009. <laughs> but I, I guess we'll take a watch. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right, let's let's take a watch. Let's see what this guy's up to. This is his application. It was uploaded in 2009, so I don't know. Hey. What's up? What the crack is that on your face? Better audio than the last guy, at least. All right, folks, we're going to give this one a yay or a nay. I'm thinking yay on this one. Lots of yays in the chat. All right, this guy's in. This guy's the new E-Rich. <laughs> I, I don't know which one he is, but we decided. <laughs> Congrats to the new E-Rich. You made it. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> Video's called Funny Mask Fight by Wrestling Master 905 if you want to go check it out. <laughs> Glad they put the descriptor of funny on their own video. <laughs> Because I certainly wasn't going to do it for them. <laughs> okay, thanks, Mewtwo2000. Billy says, hey, monkey, here's my cringe-filled audition for your podcast. I hope to hear back from you. Let's, uh, let's have my monocle over here. There we go. Let's take a listen, folks. Nope. Let's try again. Eh, uh, okay, we're going to have to skip this one, because however they sent it, it doesn't want to be played! It doesn't want to be played. Here we go. Next one. Depression Chamber, okay. 
Uh, hi, Mumkey. This one is from William. Hi, Mumkey. I hope you're having a good day today. Here's my submission for the new Erich in the audio link. Let's hope I don't get bullied too hard. Let's take a listen to his vocaroo. Hello, Mumkey. So, let me just give it to you straight. I love Is It Kino. I'm maybe one of the five people that watch it. And I heard that you're looking for a replacement for Erich, which is pretty stupid in my opinion, because Erich... He sounds like the boy that Lisa falls in love with in the Simpsons movie. ...is the most beautiful man who ever lived. No one could ever replace him. Uh, you said you're looking for someone who's very similar to him, someone who's very liberal. Well, I'm going to tell you how liberal I am. Uh, I took the ice side with test and I got 85% Bernie Sanders and 15% Donald Trump. I'm, I don't know if that's liberal enough for you, but um, uh, I watched the odd, I watched the cheeky Quinton reviews video from time to time. I don't know. That's probably a lot of soy right there. And uh, when Erich was talking about Death Wish being released at the wrong time, I was like, eh, he kind of makes a good point. So. I don't know if that's enough soy for you, but Leprechaun. let's hope it is. Uh, you're wondering about favorite movies and such? Uh, I don't know, I've got a lot of favorite movies. It's like Blair Witch Project, Toy Story, Caché, Nightcrawler, Fight Club, Whiplash, The Witch, A Ghost Story, all that crazy kind of shit. Also, I love the good- also, I am an absolute massive fan of those pretentious e rich movies like First Reformed, Mother, Call me by your name. Sit me in one of those front of the one of those movies, and I I just I just love it. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know if my mic is that great, but if it is, hey hey, that's great. But you know, I'd like to see you respond to this and see if I could possibly be on America's Next Top Eagerish because I'm a big fan of Izakino. I love listening to all your opinions. You're a great guy, Monkey. See you around. Not true. Not true. Okay, folks. He's all, he's a fan of the show, so he's already caught up in all the culture and memes. That's good. It sounds like he'll bring the diversity of opinions that the show desperately needs, so it's not, uh, I guess, me and uh, uh, a Holocaust denier Florian just circle-jerking in opinions all day. We do need this, this cuck soy boy perspective on these films, folks. Uh, he has a delightfully devilish leprechaun accent that I'm sure will never get old. I don't know. Should we give this guy uh, an invite to the tournament, folks? Should he be in the running? He would be a good replacement for Erich, but not a good host. Well, that's that's just all sorts of funny, isn't it? We need a vote gay emote. Yay, luck of the Irish. Nay, yay. Straight white males define diversity. Carson, you see, you're living in a very 2012 mindset. We're looking for diversity of opinion, diversity of perspective. We are not so racist that we think, oh, oh, somebody's perspective on life will be different based on the color of their skin. How absurd. We're all equal. Isn't that the point? We're all equal. We want diversity of perspectives and opinions. This guy very well could be <laughs> black, white, who can say by his Irish accent and left-leaning views. Nobody, nobody knows for sure. We just, we believe in, in diversity of ideas here. We're living in the, the 21st century, folks. We don't discriminate based on skin color, Carson, like you, racist. Okay, I'm going to tell him he's in. You're in the running. There you go. Done. Diversity is our strength. That's right. See, that's the problem with these liberal arts schools. They, they love diversity so much until you suggest diversity of perspective. How many of your liberal arts professors do you think voted for Trump? Nada. There's no diversity in these fucking schools. You might have an Indian professor, fucking a uh, 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 black albino per, uh, professor, uh, every color of the rainbow, all 500 genders of professors, 
but they're all gonna have the same fucking perspective. That's not true diversity. That's, uh, that's, it's such shallow, skin-deep diversity. I want diversity of the human spirit. Disgusting. Nobody knows what diversity is anymore. Horrible. Anyway. Let's find another application. These are all depression chambers. Uh, hello, Mumkey. This is from Jibs Fargan. I have been watching your videos for a long time, so I thought I would try this out. I will actually watch the movies and form opinions on them, as well as make ha-ha funny internet, just like you laugh at. I don't talk well by myself. Well, okay, here's his application. Let's listen. Seven minutes! Uh, okay, this is like a video. Wait, is that his dick? No, okay, that's not his dick, that's a foot. Jim Parcel, welcome aboard. Let's, uh, let's take a watch to this guy's application. Seems kind of quiet. Well, that's just absurd. Well, son, I guess you're right. I am a butthead. The magic of film. There's nothing else, I feel, no other medium that can truly recreate the, the feeling of all your emotions, your past experiences plastered up there on that big screen. It's truly magical. And that's why I am auditioning to replace E. Rich McCoy as co-host of Is It Kino, the movie review podcast. Uh, this is, in fact, the very closet that I would record my audio in. And with a microphone, not an iPhone, don't worry. Um, but I think it's about time to get in some better lighting and actually tell you why I think I would be a good replacement for E. Rich McCoy. Now, as many of you may know, E. Rich was a very infamous figure around these parts. That sound was me stubbing my toe against the door frame. That's unfathomably painful, but more importantly, Fox. NATO boss tells Congress President Trump's tough talk is working. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. The ignorance of these fucking conservative news sites. I don't care which one it is, and I know E. Rich would feel the same way. Whenever I to get my morning reps, I don't I don't quite have the physique necessary. The don't not don't quite have the soiculent, I guess you could say. Physique of E. Rich McCoy. I'm working up there, you see. In the morning, every morning. I do my reps. I, I, I get one of these conservative, ignorant, toxic news sites. Doesn't matter which one. Doesn't matter. I don't know, particular. folks. Patchy's GF in the chat said she doesn't like his voice. I mean, what what are we supposed to say? I mean, what else can we do? Patchy's GF has spoken. <laughs> the girlfriend of one of the guys already in the running of the contest has spoken, folks. <laughs> what are we to do? What are we to do? Sheepover is charmed. Sheep, we don't care about the perspective of fucking girlfriends on this show, Sheepover. We're here to hear what Patchy's GF has to say. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, he's too skinny. You want him to quote Scooby-Doo? Separate place for every race, honk, honk. Welcome to fucking clown world, folks. What do you guys think of Jibs? Big fan? Big fan of this fam. Yeah, have we had any girls apply yet? I have i don't remember hearing any female submissions. Talk about lack of diversity, folks. Okay, here's one from Maxified. Hello, my name is Maxified, and it's I'm very quiet for E. Rich's replacement. When it comes to politics, I don't really care. I guess I'd lean more conservative, but I, I tend to be on the fence. When it, when it comes to race. Oof. Um, Can you guys even hear that? It's very quiet, and I have it turned up all the way on my computer. It's very static and quiet. If that's what we're going to get, then I don't know if that's, uh, that's going to be podcast-worthy, folks. Women can't have depression or watch movies. Vinny... 
You're speaking from my heart. <laughs> you can hear. Barely. Yeah, now let's move on. Sorry, Maxified. Try again with a louder microphone. Here's one from Greg who says, Politics, I watch CNN every day, but I wouldn't call myself a liberal. Movies, I didn't go to movies. I went to movie review podcasts. And his top five are Rollerball, Charlie Varick, The Incredible Burt Wonderstone, I, Robot, and Brazil. Okay, well, let's listen to the audio. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Is It Kino Movie Review Podcast. I'm your host, Monkey Jones, joined you today, as always, by a one Erich McCoy. Erich? Erich? Last call for Erich, everybody. Last call. Uh, I am so sorry to say Erich is not here. The podcast must be concluded. Here and, then, and then here I come in, man. Here I come in. Fear not, fair viewers, because I am coo I am Bombo the Clown. I will be the new Erich. But hey, we love Erich. So to say I'm the new Erich is absolutely insulting, man. I cannot believe you for saying it. As for movies, uh, I think I can sincerely say that I've liked uh, every movie I've ever seen. But my all-time favorite is uh, Rollerball. So, in conclusion, why am I a good fit for the podcast? Well, the evidence is plain to see. One, I love movies. Two, I'm just plain old funny. And three, I'm not afraid to bring that notepad right into the theater. Thank you for considering me. I've been... Greg, nice to meet you. I'll see my way out. Don't say that. That's not funny, man. That is not funny. And if you think I can't be funny without sound effects and editing, then have me on the podcast and let me prove myself. Okay? All right. Folks, he wants to prove himself. Oh, man. He's a go-getter, folks. And he thinks of himself as funny. Most of the comedians I know actually don't find themselves very funny at all. Give me a yay or a nay. Uh, nay, nay, nada. Animated Demon says let him in. Animated Demon is known for his great taste. <laughs> He's known for always contributing positively. <laughs> Never wants to watch the world burn in any way. <laughs> Never. Thinking you're funny instantly means you're unfunny. All right. Here's what uh, Daxton has to say. Daxton. Hi, Monkey and the chat. Sunday morning here. This is my application to replace Erich and also a microphone test. Much like Erich, I am a liberal and bisexual. I live in San Francisco, so my soy levels are comparable to that of a New Yorker's. However, my girth is not. If E. Rich's is at Kino's Biggie, I'll be its Tupac. In fact, hold on. I might be able to replace Asperger, too. Okay, here's the thing. I fucking hate E. Rich. He embarrasses Sunday, all- What are you talking about? I'm playing- This is the second one. I'm playing the second one that you sent in. Did you send the same one twice by accident? This is the second version. He sent two applications, and I, I skipped the first one. What's the problem? Do you want me to play the first one instead? I'll play the other fucking one you sent me. I'll play them both. I don't give a fuck. Hey, Mumkey. Sunday morning here. Here to give you a little test of my audio quality and to also give you my resume to audition for E. Rich's replacement. I think I kind of embody E. Rich... Uh, because I am a liberal, I am bisexual, and I live in San Francisco. You might even consider me the Tupac of Is It Kino to E. Rich's Biggie. Uh, being in San Francisco, race relations are pretty good. In fact, if you don't relate to other races, yeah, you a get good beat mic. Up. And then my favorite movies would have to be The Shining, Akira, The Sandlot, Terminator 2, and for a recent example, I really, really enjoyed Three Billboards. So 
that's it, and thanks for your time. Yeah, this is fucking bullshit. We're listening to the other one. He was playing a song. We Hi, Monkey hear. and the chat. Hi, Monkey and the okay. chat. Sunday morning here. This is my application to replace E. Rich and this also be a my good ass rap. Test. Much like E. Rich, I am a liberal and bisexual. I live in San Francisco, so my soy levels are comparable to that of a New Yorker's. However, my girth is not. Don't just reject if him. E. Rich is biggie, I'll be its Tupac. <laughs> in fact, hold on. I might be able to replace Asperger, too. Oh, let's do it. Okay, here's the thing. I fucking hate E. Rich. He embarrasses all us liberals. And I gotta start the song. First off, fucky bitch and the dick you claim. The bull that I ride come equipped with game. You claim to be a cuck, but they fucked my wife. They bust on sad boys, wig is cucked for life. Plus, we'll be trying to see the corn pizza I rip. Rich McCoy and Last Jedi, some mark ass bitches. We keep on vaping while we running for your jewel. Steady attendant, keep on sleeping at them showings. You know the rules. Little monkey, go ask your homie, is it Kino? Cut your boy ass up, snatch your Reese's pieces. Now be deceased. SM, don't fuck around with real ease. Quick to snatch your ugly ass off the streets. So fuck peace. I let them teachers know it's 25 to life. So don't let your students ride tonight. Rad boy avenge on podcasting skills. Fuck with me and get your end game. You know, see, grab your soy when you want a healthy meal. Call the soy boy if you want to deal on soy. Almond milk is clearly superior to soy milk. Some of my favorite movies include The Shining, Three Billboards, The Sandlot, Akira, Alien, Napoleon Dynamite, and The Incredibles. I don't think I can speak unbiased about race relations from the California coast, since if you don't relate to races here, you get beat up, but I'll try. Uh, it's bad in some places. Put me in your bracket. Thanks. Okay, folks, I think, uh... These people, they're always second-guessing themselves. They say, oh, no. No, don't listen to that one. Listen to my, my new safe application. Folks, you were right the first time. The rap application was the good application. That's what solidified your spot on the bracket. Combined with the good microphone quality of the other entry. There you go. If we can get that level of entertainment out of an Is It Kino podcast, folks, can you imagine? That's next level. That guy has written more raps this year than Asperger has. Absurdity. Absurdity. You're in the running. There we go. Who's blowing up my phone today? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. There you go, Sunday morning, whatever your name was. People are saying you're better than Asperger. That's right. Uh, he, he sent in a whole fucking Word document. What the fuck? Okay, this one is from uh, Joe Ho, who says, Hey, I'm applying for the position to replace E. Rich McCoy on your uh, favorite movie review podcast. That's right. It's Is It Kino? TM, baby. History with podcast. Why didn't you just fucking record this? Here, let's, just, let's listen to the recording. Maybe that's uh, him just reading what he wrote. Hello, this is the sound of my voice on my Blue Yeti without a pop filter and with the gain all the way down. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll keep reading his uh, his Word, Microsoft Word application. I've been listening to the podcast for the last couple months, and although that doesn't seem like a while, I seem to have gotten a grip on the operation. This was the first podcast I ever regularly listened to, and to this day is still my favorite. The chemistry between the intellectual, witty, and shocking monkey the future presidential candidate and professional bitch E. Rich and that other guy is second to none and keeps me coming back. <laughs> Oof. You can imagine my dismay when my Kino stops showing up in my sub box on YouTube. I almost fucking cried. I bet you can imagine my future ecstasy when I found out that Is It Kino wasn't gone, it just moved. 
I've only been listening to the podcast for a couple months, and I've already felt a roller coaster of emotion. I'm now emotionally tethered to this podcast. A little about me. I am a 16-year-old kinophile. Whoa, I hear you thinking. 16? Isn't that too young to legally kino? I say no. I see most wide releases, yes, including R-rated, I have my ways, in the cinema, thanks in part to my A-list membership. I'm part of the A-list too, baby! To prove my devotion to Kino, I will give you a list of movies I have seen last year in theaters, and he lists 121 movies here. Uh, and here's his top 10 movies of 2018. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, that is top 10 favorite and top 5 worst. Do we care? Should we just move on? We heard his 8-second audio. I see lots of nays. Uh, there's three more pages of this Word document. Should we just move on? <laughs> give, me, give me a move on in the chat. <laughs> this guy did not include a rap song. What were the top five of the top ten? So his top five favorite movies of last year. Five, Bohemian Rhapsody. Four, Spider-Man. Three, The Death of Stalin. Two, First Reformed. And one, Eighth Grade. And his, his worst movie of last year was Ready Player One. <laughs> Everybody says move on. Okay. Sorry, Joe Ho. Uh, application. Oh, it's a YouTube video. Uh, <laughs> the uploader closed their YouTube account. He submitted a video application and was so ashamed he deleted his entire account. <laughs> Great. Great. Here's one from Simon. Hey, Monkey, this is so my entry fucking into quiet. the contest to replace E. Rich McSoy. Why is it so fucking quiet? Okay, here's one from Cheesy. Hey, Mumkey, this is my entry for the next E-Rich. My name's William Almarez. I'm Mexican. Got the forced diversity. I watch a lot of movies, have a lot of free time. And um, I'm more right-leaning than left, but that doesn't mean I can't act like it. I do, I do have some points about, you know, the other entries, right? And it's that they are all funny. They're all hilarious, basically. Not most, not all of them, but, you know, in the stream highlights, they were all funny. But... You can't be funny if you want to be e rich. You want to be completely monotone soy boy voice, and you just want to get outraged at the littlest things, right? So you can't have all those people be e rich now. Me, I'm not funny at all, so I can't do that. And I can put on my e rich voice, which I will Is do right now. Is he unzipping right his pants to jerk off? Um, um, I I do think Black, Black, Black Panther was the best movie. Uh, uh, oh, oh my God. I, I spilled all my soy milk everywhere. I'm I'm shaking and crying right now. Oh, I peed my pants. Uh, uh. I don't know. I see a lot of yays in the chat. <laughs> People seem to be into it. <laughs> Lots of yays. Oh, no, those are nays. My bad. <laughs> those, those, those are nays in the chat. <laughs> Here's one from Maximilian Russell. Hey, Mumkey, if you were being serious about having an audience member join the ranks of Is It Kino, I have a little audition voice recording for you. I love going to the movies and live close to several theaters, so I'd be able to keep up with whatever we'd be watching with relative ease, and I already have a Discord and a good microphone, so I think I meet the requirements. I'd be honored to be on for an episode. I don't have a catchy nickname or anything, so feel free to call me whatever you want. Hey, Mumkey and general Kino cast. Um, my name is Max. I'm doing a shitty ass audition to become America's Colorblind. next top e bitch McSoy. Oh. I um, I'm recording on a Yeti microphone. I got the edgy, you know, gamer faggot bundle. So I would say my audio is going to be pretty good. I spend a lot of time on left book, so. I would be able to fill the kind of niche blue pilled soy boy role, but I also hate corporations and you know a lot of a lot of different kind of people. So 
I think I'm pretty versatile in that aspect, and uh, I can get pretty easily impassioned about shitty movies, be it one way or the other, so I'll defend a piece of shit or tear down a classic that everybody loves, because I have bad taste in just about everything, and I think that's what makes me a sympathetic, well-defined, lovely, white POC character, a little cheery little being that you can have on the podcast that everybody can can love and hate at the same time. Um, I can serve as an echo chamber and a devil's advocate all in the same breathy, nasally voice. Um, I love saying the swear words. I love staying up late and watching movies. So I think you guys would love to have me on the podcast. I probably will be able to make you all laugh. Okay. Yeah, people in the chat are pointing out he seems pretty uh, chill. Nice microphone quality. Level-headed. Seeing lots of yays. Yay, but a bit boring. Well, I'm sure once he has people to play off of, he'll... I mean, it's hard to just riff by yourself and be a super entertaining man. Uh, guy sounds like a star, star, star. Patchy, watch your mouth! Our mom watches these streams! Yeah, he does need a catching nickname. We'll have to think of something, but I guess I'll, uh, I'll put him in the running for now. I haven't seen the chat, so, uh... Uh... Outwardly positive towards anybody. All these guys just sound like nostalgia teen critic. Just hire a hooker to replace E. Rich. Or maybe we'll just cancel the show. And I'll fucking kill myself. <laughs> there are endless possibilities, folks. Anything could happen. Anything. Speaking of cool nicknames, here's a guy named Perforated Anus. Per no, Perforated Anus. My bad. I apologies to all the perforated anuses out there. I did not mean to offend you by mispronouncing your word. <laughs> hey there, Mumkey. Against my better judgment, I'm submitting this recording to you for the America's Next Top E-Rich Contest cringe warning. And then the file name is Double Click for Hot CP. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Single click, please. Hello there, Mr. Monkey Jonas. Uh, Very quiet. I thought I'd just send this in for America's Next Top E-Bitch Contest. I know that losing Mr. E-Bitch is a heavy blow. It'll be even harder filling his massive, massive shoes. But I've been packing on the pounds lately to compete. Started drinking more soy, watching NBC with my wife's son, and letting my wife peg me in the ass when her boyfriend comes over. But... Here's the thing. I fucking hate Trump. Nah, but for real. I'm a diehard fan. Not only did I buy the triflers, Whoa! but I read the entire first page and Whoa! watched the review you did on a podcast Whoa! show, Remain Unnamed. I've endured all of your shitty short films. I've seen every episode of Is It Kino? I've been an on-again, off-again patron since your account termination. As far as movies go, uh, more of a look summaries up on Wikipedia guy than a go to the theater guy. But uh, if you put your trust in me as the next Is It Kino co host, I might be willing to watch a trailer or two right before the show. Also, have an endorsement from your friend Kermit the Frog. I'll just uh, snip it in right here. Kermit the Frog here. Just stopping by to tell you, uh, I have a 12-inch penis. I love porking Miss Piggy's ham hole every night and shooting Kermie spermies down her throat. Also, let this guy on your podcast. Thanks. Bye. Kermie spermies, folks! Well, if Kermit the Frog's on his side, how could we not be? Sheepover says definitely yes. William wants to fuck this guy? Jesus, how'd he get Kermit? Good question. Lots of yays, wow. And Jordan Peterson joined. Oh, you guys are more positive on this guy than I was. I guess I was distracted by reading my own book. I guess I can put him in the running, if everybody likes him that much. Okay. 
the people have uh, spoken, folks. Woo! We need to wake the fuck up! Need to wake up! Recording Boomer versus Zoomer later tonight. Need to be lively. Need to be live leak. Live leak. There we go. This is the way to do it. This is the way. Do you know the way? That's the way! This is it! Make him the replacement now. Ebitch 2, European Gigolo. Hi, Mumkey. This message is in regards to getting a spot on your, um, Is It Kino movie podcast. First off, I just want to say that both you and that sauerkraut munching Austrian are a bunch of racist, alt-right, neo-Nazi bigots. I mean, I saw it must be pretty fun all day, just sitting around goofing off on Twitch making fun of minorities, but, you know, <clears throat> I'm out here doing the real, woke, social justice, activist work that only thick boys like me and e-bitch can do. So anyway, I mean, you should just hit me up. I'm pretty much perfect, okay? My opinion and internet comment etiquette is so kosher, I haven't even been kicked off of YouTube. Unlike somebody we both know. Hmm. So, you know, hit me up, monkey boy. Alright, what do you guys think of Jake here? Speech impediment? Rude! We'll work! Rude! You guys are so cruel! Cruel! Oh, this is a depression chamber. Shouldn't have clicked on that yet. Oh, that's a long one, too. How do I mark that as unread? There you go. Uh, here's an audio file of me talking from OJJ. Hey, my name is OJJ. Very J. fucking quiet. Shorten that to OJJ. That's easier. I think someone upstairs just fell in the bathroom and dropped something, but I'll just keep going. Uh, I'd like to replace E. Rich on the movie program. My qualifications, I suppose. I, uh, I live in California. I don't know if you need anything else. I'm going to give this one a big nay. Bacon crafted curtain. This motherfucker. This motherfucker who always comes in the chat talking shit. Motherfucker talking shit all the time. Bacon crafted curtain. Let's see what he has to say. Things to note. One. It is a video file because my microphone was on the other side of the room while recording this, so some parts are unintelligible and needed subtitles. Fucking great. Two, when I was done recording this, I noticed that I was using Twitch ban-worthy amounts of profanity, so I decided to censor them out. You could have re-recorded this shit! I don't need a list of five reasons why you fucked up. On one irresponsible horny night with the boys, I decided to put cummies in my yummies, and now I have a se severe wart growth inside my mouth. Yes, this does impact my ability to talk. Four, in my opinion, I have everything and more that E. Rich has. Soy makes up 40 or 80% of my body weight. I am massive. I take two prescribed blue pills a day. I have grown an immense foot fetish from constantly kissing the feet of the black Israelites. I have good morals because I stand up for trans rights. Five, I would never ever use a slur, even with context. Thank you for your time, O-W-O. Hmm. Hi, I'm an 11 year old boy and I, I record all my audio with an Xbox headset. Uh, my, my favorite movie is uh, Quentin Leap, Director's Cut 2015. Uh, I'm going to say now that I probably uh, couldn't do the show because I'm a busy 11 year old boy who, who has a bad time. So, you know, but uh, wh while I'm here, I guess I could do my... Uh, my best uh, e rich impression, so um, here it goes. <coughs> Yo, what a nigga, it's me, e rich. I love saying the word nigga, 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 nigga. Man, I love to wear them gangsta bootleg Looney Tune shirts that, that, that say we out here in big bowl font on the front. 
Man, one day I come home, my missus is on the couch with another man. I shot him dead, I kicked her out of the house. Nine months later, she gave birth to a son. I laughed my ass off, bro. Bro, he's gonna grow up without a dad. That's, that's funny as hell. My two favorite fictional characters are Black Panther and Toad from the Xandar Brow Mario series. <laughs> that's a day in the life of you. You guys talking uh, shit? Oh no, it's me. What's up, nigga? Wanna talk some shit? Wait, what'd you say? Nigga shit, nigga shit, nigga, nigga, nigga shit, nigga shit, nigga shit, nigga, nigga, nigga shit. I thought you said you censored those. <laughs> uh oh, I'm getting a call. Oh, I missed it. I was getting one of those uh, robo calls. I was gonna answer it live on stream. That's too bad. Oh yeah, that was that was a great application to replace Eridge. Good job. Everybody's saying yeah, but that was not a test of anything. We don't know his mic quality. We don't know what his normal voice sounds like. And he clearly cannot be trusted, much like Erich, to keep the N-word off of my Twitch stream. <laughs> All he's good for is making me laugh for about a minute. Okay. File was too big. What the, why is it 32 fucking megabytes? No, I'm not downloading that shit. Whoa! This is basically a depression chamber from the comic con man. Preface, I thought throwing a pity party for myself would be inappropriate for the audition, but then I realized you have a entire series dedicated towards doing that, so I figured why not. Consider this a mini depression chamber, if you will. Okay, let's get the music. Let's get the music playing. Let's see, uh, depression. Okay, depression chamber music. Here we go, part two. We did it last night. Okay. Uh, feel free to play the music. Oh, perfect, that's what I did anyway. I would like to preface my audition by saying that I have a annoying voice. If you think hearing it is annoying, then you haven't experienced having it. I've been made fun of uh, a lot as a child and teenager for having this voice. People would often mock me with their imitations. It's quite scary knowing that everything I've ever said to everybody has been filtered through my obnoxious voice. And that it might have caused many people to not think of my as a person, but as some goofy caricature. Making this audition has put me in, has given me my first ever incentive to improve how I sound, so I tried and tried making take after take trying to get my voice to sound right. Rereading the same script over and over, it's frustrated me immensely, so I just decided to give you my best take and ask you for advice on how I can better orate. Below is the script for my audio audition. It's there in case I mispronounce anything. It isn't a one-to-one -one copy of what I said, but I decided to include it anyway to be considerate. It also includes two links for sources on my comments. Okay. Wait, so... Let's get this audio playing then. Let's see uh, Let's see how bad it could be. How bad could it be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. Hey, Monkey. I've been a big fan of your content for quite a while, and watched the podcast, the videos, and even bought your book. I am an aspiring writer. I've been a critic for my high school newspaper publication, though many of my reviews were unpublished because I was too intelligent for their publication. My position on race relations is that I believe tribalism is an innate part of human nature across all races. There was a study done that showcased infants having a greater affinity towards adults of their own race. When you take into account this into account, a lot of dynamics in our country it's just to make Florian. a lot more sense. Politically, in terms of a, a label, I would describe myself as a non-moderate centrist 
who can be to the left or to the right of the general podcast consensus, depending on an issue. I used to support Trump, but I got impatient with his inaction on important issues, including immigration, the wall, and the opioid crisis. When Trump said he wanted more, this is not even halfway through. Should we keep going? Straw. I will no longer support the orange Cheeto. Fuck Trump. <laughs> It didn't take much for me to jump on the Yang Yacht. I wanted those Yang Bucks. I don't support every Yang policy, however, he wants to make Puerto Rico a state. I think we all know why that's a bad idea. A few other of my positions. I want to see the Sacklers guillotined. And have it live streamed on Twitch! If you donate enough bits, you can get to see a drone toss a tomato at them like the good old days. My wokest opinion is that I believe the Marvel movies, I know you like them, monkey, but they are propaganda for the military industrial complex. My favorite movies are Coraline, Terminator 1 and 2, Dark Knight 2 and 3, Blade 1 and 2, Taxi Driver, One Hour Photo, or Nightcrawler. My favorite anime are Gantz, Now and Then, Here and There, and The Devilman OVA. I believe I should detail my philosophy on writing to better give you an a idea of how I would dissect it. All right. All right. Just listening to his application made us lose 20 listeners, <laughs> so I don't know if he would be the best fit for the podcast. I'm not going to lie, folks. I'm not going to lie. I don't think he'd be the best fit. Does anybody have any uh, advice for him on how to better orate and to, to fix the pain he feels in his life, knowing that all of his outward thoughts are being filtered through his voice? Does anybody have any advice on this? Bring him on the show. Kill himself. <laughs> Archangel of life. Username does not check out. He should kill himself. Take the cock out of your mouth. Get a rope. Don't be so monotone. Text to speech your opinions. Yeah. Send monkey a severed finger. Don't trail off. Hire a prostitute. Learn how accents work, speech classes, speech therapy. There you go. Lots of great suggestions. All are equal in the eyes of the Lord. Uh, okay. Take note. This is from uh, Evester. Take note. Surely this isn't a woman, right? Take note, I'm not sure if Gmail is cap sensitive or not, though I read that it is. The email you have listed on your site is in all lowercase, but you might have a copy of this email twice, okay. I'm sure your inbox is basically a bukkake of applications at this point, okay, okay. Just get to the fucking mic test, here we go. This is a microphone test. One, two, three, one, two, three, vote for Hillary. I'm sure if I end up replacing e rich everyone's gonna hate my voice. Oh look, one from Christian. He says, I'm gay, so obviously I'm qualified. I am a boy. I like movies. I like talking shit about movies. The problem is, I don't exactly have an outlet to do so. Mm. And if I could find such an outlet, I would gladly stick a fork in it and be elevated to the next realm. E-bitch, boy, what a fucking cunt. Cunt bitch mixed shit. <laughs> that is uh, the boy that I will have to become in order to get this job, and I am happy to do so. I'm happy to suck every penis on earth if it'll get me this job. I can tell he does. You can hear it in his voice. You can feel the semen in his throat. It's always there gargling in the background. I'm surprised noise removal is even able to take care of it because of how loud it is. I'm a man who 
is also very proficient at sucking dick and talking about movies simultaneously. I am also a man who has a background in audio, animation, and all kinds of nice things, including like uh, 3D modeling and rendering. I can uh, I can critique movies from an interesting standpoint. I also have an ambiguous accent that no one can ever fucking place. Everyone thinks I'm either American or British or something else entirely. I don't know where the fuck I'm from. You figure it out. The last thing that you need to know about me is that I am hella fucking gay. And, hey, that's the best qualification you could ever need. Okay, so Christian here perhaps is not the best Christian if he's actually gay and sucks dick. And I want that kind of uh, uh, mystery on my show, folks. The mystery. is he? Does he really have gay sex? Where is he from? Can we place that accent? The microphone quality is good. The voice is good. He has an air of mystery to him that makes him so intriguing. Will he try to suck Florian's dick? Will Florian lose his virginity to a gay man? These are the questions we could ponder on the show. This is a Christian channel, guys. Come on. I agree with Easy Ol. I hear lots of yays. William says nay because he isn't interesting, but I don't know. I don't know. Diversity of opinion on whether or not it's fun to suck dick, folks. That's the level of energy we need. You don't have to sound gay to be gay. Yeah, tell that to the last two fucking applications. <laughs> let's uh, let's give Christian a shot. You're in the running, fam. That's right. There we go. Florian is a virgin. Well, Patsy's GF, you are. Uh, you know, if you are... Uh, if you like binding of Isaac, maybe you could, uh, you know, bind up some Florian and uh, help him solve his medical condition of uh, virginity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, Patchy's GF. He's he's only thirty fucking eight years old. He's he's a young sprout, ready to blossom. Hello. Fuck diversity of opinions. We have a diversity quota to fill. That's right. That's fucking right. Okay, next one. Oh, God, this guy has a very Spanish name. He's going to be speaking English or Spanish. Who knows? My name is Andres Guerra, and I'm qualifying for America's Next Top Irish Context. Even though I'm a 17-year-old stupid-ass Mexican kid, I think I would be a great foil to Florian because I pirated the Binding of Isaac. <laughs> he sounds like, uh, uh, what's his name, Damos Pesos or whatever fucking that guy on YouTube. He sounds like that guy, Dame Pesos, yeah. Yeah, that guy's funny. This guy, maybe not so much. <laughs> All right, we we got a lot of new applications in right now as we've been podcasting. Let's uh, let's take a listen to Classy Star to round off. Oh, he sent a video. Okay, let's watch Classy Star's video, and then uh, that'll be enough for today, I think. Okay, here we go, Classy Star. He's a, a young man who makes claymations. He got second place in the most recent short film contest. Hey, monkey. My name is Classy Star. Can't fucking hear anything. This is my application to be the new E-Rich next tour. So, um, my favorite movie is The Iron Giant. It's a pretty good movie. And, uh, you might know me for, because I did your animation for the for the Monkey Jones Film Contest. Anyway, that's that's pretty much it. All right, Classy. Way too loud. Classy, I love your uh, claymations. I love all the work you've done. I think you're a very funny, talented artist. This podcast, though, I don't know. It was very hard for me to even hear your submission. And even though it's just a blank video file, you sent it as a video that I had to download. Why not just record it on Vokaroo, Classy? Do you even have a, a microphone? Are you recording audio with a camera? And that's why it had to be submitted like this. So many questions are opened up. The wrong kind of questions. Questions that will never be answered. 
Keep up the good work on your channel, though, Classy. We'll see you in the next uh, film contest. His microphone is too good, and he is not a virgin, so he cannot be accepted. True. Yeah, Classy Star is not a virgin. <laughs> uh, I sent one in from Quentin Best Fan, so it chat can make fun of me. Well, we'll have to save that for next time. Because uh, I think an hour and 15 minutes of fucking E-Rich applications is more than anybody can bear in one day. So, folks, I'm going to... We're going to call that a stream. I want to do at least a uh, minimum two-hour streams, but I'm recording Boomer vs. Zoomer tonight. So, I'm going to cut this one short to go prepare for that show. Thanks for tuning in if you did, which I'm guessing you did because you're listening to me say this right now. We, we found a few more tantalizing submissions. Maybe we'll, maybe one of the people we heard from today will be the new E-Rich come uh, the end of the year. Who knows? If you would like to hear the next episode of Visit Kino live Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're going live to discuss the extended version of the Watchmen movie because we felt like we needed to do that before E-Rich left. For some reason. I've never seen it myself, but that's what we're doing next. Asterios is joining in, so Thursday night, get some live Kino going. Well, I'll miss Big Brother. I'll miss Big Brother, folks. That's true dedication to the craft. Anyway. Watchmen sucks. Well, maybe maybe it does. I don't have an opinion yet because I, I have not seen it yet. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, the donations and the bits and all that stuff. Thanks if you uh, subscribed. And I'll see you, if not tomorrow, then on Thursday. And uh, my new video that I'm working on, it is com confirmed to be now over half an hour long. Much longer than I thought it was going to be. Go to patreon.com slash The end. <laughs>